Validation Master Plan Validation Master Plans discuss validation activities across an entire site or within an organization. The Validation Master Plan is a summary of the validation strategy. The purpose of the Validation Master Plan is to document the compliance requirements for the site and to ensure that sufficient resources are available for validation projects. Sometimes validation master plans are written to cover specific departmental validation activities or the validation process for a specific type of system, for example, all programmable logic controllers PLCs, within a manufacturing process. These master plans describe the specific validation process for that group or system type. Master plans are written to assist an organization with validation strategy or to provide control over a specific process. The Validation Master Plan is different from a Validation Procedure SOP, which describes the specific process for performing validation activities. When plans are written specifically for a single validation project, they are referred to as Validation Plans. Sometimes Master Plans are named for their function areas, such as a Site Validation Master Plan or Pharmaceutical Validation Master Plan. The Validation Master Plan helps to determine systems, equipment, methods, facilities, etc. that are in the scope of the plan. List of tests. Control points. Sampling frequency and location. Frequency of the re-qualification. Validation Master Plan must include qualification and validation policy. A list of all validation activities and any parallel validation plans. A list of personnel responsible for the VMP, SOPs, and protocols. A list of relevant validation reports and documents. A list of personnel, roles, who provide approval. Current validation status for the systems within the project scope. The organizational structure including roles and responsibilities for conducting qualification and validation. Summary of the facilities, equipment, systems, processes on-site, and the qualification and validation status. Compliance requirements for validation, including how the validated state will be maintained schedule of validation activities. Change control and deviation management for qualification and validation. Guidance on developing acceptance criteria. References to existing documents. The qualification and validation strategy, including re-qualification. Required validation deliverable. Content of validation master plan, title page and authorization, approval signatures and dates. Table of contents. Abbreviations and glossary. Validation policy. Philosophy, intention, and approach to validation. Roles and responsibilities of relevant personnel. Resources to ensure validation is done. Outsourced services, selection, qualification, management through life cycle. Deviation management. Change control. Risk management principles. Training. Scope of validation. Documentation required in qualification and validation such as procedures, certificates, protocols, and reports. Premises qualification. Utility Qualification Equipment Qualification Process Validation Cleaning Validation Personnel Qualification such as Analyst Qualification Analytical Method Validation Computerized System Validation Establishing Acceptance Criteria Life Cycle Management including Retirement Policy Requalification and Revalidation Relationship with other quality management elements. Validation matrix. References. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Watch more videos as we have created a lot of videos for pharmaceuticals.